Fourth race, pacing fillies and mares are on the track and pretty to the purse. Racing a mile, a purse of $2,500, the one Jade Tampi. Held by Gene Molino and Don Swick of Florida, Kelly Shepard drives. The two, 911A. Held by James Aricello of Chicago, Joe Essig Jr. Three, Linda Lonell, held by Charles Blank and Chip of Asheville for Hugh Betty Jr. Four, Tucson Gwinnie, held by Edwin Lean of Kettering for Sam Coven. Five is Maggie Jane, owned by Ron Collier with Dan Eater aboard. Number six, Anne's Magical Log. She's owned by Anne and Virgil Parks of Marengo with Ron Stack driving. The seven oars tickled to death, owned by Bob Kaufman of Columbus for Dave Rankin. Eight is Katie Smith, owned by the Hall Investment Company of Logan for Dave Myers. And number nine, Queenship, owned by J.D. Burnett of Wilmington, Chip Noble in the Sulky. One play show, perfect the trifecta, pick three wagering. Nine minutes until stretch, and there they go. It's post time. And uh, they're off, and Maggie Jane powers away for the lead. Jade Tampy off the rail is second. From the outside, tickle to death, came away third. 9-1-1-A is away fourth to the inside five. It's Linda Lonell. Then comes Tucson Gwinnie as they swing into the first turn. Seventh on the inside, it's the Gray Philly Ann's Magic Along to the outside, racing at eighth. Katie Smith in Queenship is the trailer. Tickle of Death has cleared the field, and she takes a lead here by three as they reach that first quarter, 28-3. and three. And Tickle of Death on the front showing the way here. Maggie Jane has closed the gap now nicely. Second, inside and third to Jay Tappy. Then comes 9-1-1-A fourth, followed five by Linda Lonell. Phillies and Mares are in straight formation as they race to the stretch. Sixth on the inside, Tucson Gwinnie. Then comes Anne's Magical Log to the outside. Katie Smith gets underway. Queenship remains on the rail ninth. Near the half, and it's tickled to death with the lead. The two-year Lambert Crombie Philly leads by two and a half, three. The half, 58 and two-fifths. Out of the outside, here comes the three-year Falcon Philly. Nine, one, one, eight to the outside. And nine, one, one, eight. Putting pressure on the two-year-old tickle to death as they fire down the back stretch. And these two now slug it out of the front end. Out of the outside, Linda Linnell takes live cover. Is now third. Maggie Jane on the inside is racing a fourth. To the outside, five. Tucson Gwinnie as they near the three-quarter mile marker. At the three quarters, 127-2. Out of the outside, 9-1-1-A. Has a lead, but only a nose and tickle to death. A big mile for the two-year-old filly here. Coming right back to him. On the outside, poised to strike three wide comes Linda Linnell and Maggie Jane looking for the super stretch now. Less than a sixteenth to go. Out of the outside, here comes Linda Linnell. 9-1-1-A is still there. A game a second. To the inside, it's Maggie Jane, but it's Linda Linnell pulling away at the wire. One, 56 and four fifths. Here's the official winner from post position three, Linda Lonell, a three-year-old daughter of Noble and Sam from Noble Delightful. Oh, by Charles Blankenship of Asheville, Ohio, Leonard Eplin, the uh, trainer nicely handled by Hugh Beatty Jr. Third season's victory for the three-year-old Ohio bred filly, and it's a new career mark, one fifty-six and four fifths. Three-two perfecta paying fifty-three dollars. The uh, trifecta three-two-five, one hundred seventy-five. And Queenship finishing eight. Nine two one four three six 